Hey, Project Family, affectionately known as Project Fam. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me in another short story. This is my Porsche project. It is done. It's almost done. I don't know if it'll ever be done, but this is where I am. So right now it is certified and inspected to ride on the road and it rides pretty nicely. Uh, next up, I want to talk to you about something very, very serious. This car is missing a backup cam. I need a backup camera. That's the first thing. The second thing that is missing, it's missing CarPlay. I, I need for this car to mirror my phone because I need Waze. You guys know there are two things that I need. I need a radar detector and I need Waze. All right, for those of you that are curious, okay, so I don't speed. I mean, I drive like the average person, but I just like to know where the traps are. I like to know where the cops are sitting. I like to know where the speed zones are, and I like to know where the speed cameras are. You know, in New York, they always trying to get into my pocket. Frankly, any day I can travel to New York City and not get a ticket mailed to me in two weeks is a good day. So my options are just going by a shop and letting them install a radio, uh, number two, I can go to Best Buy and they do have free installation on certain radios. I can chance that. Or three, I could do it on the channel, obviously. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was a, a long decision. And uh, even halfway through my journey, I said, I think I made a mistake. But I chose option three. I wanted to purchase a radio on my own, install it on the channel, and we'll learn together first thing this radio needs to have is backup camera capabilities when I put the car in reverse I want to be able to see what's behind me this car is low it is very low and there is no pulling into parking spaces I will scrub up my front bumper every time so I back in everywhere but the question is how far back do I go I don't want to rip my exhaust tips so I need to know how far back I can back up the next thing this radio needs to have is car play so CarPlay is a technology that allows you to mirror some of the fabulous apps on your phone inside your car. Either that can be done wirelessly or it could be plug-in. I choose to do it wirelessly. The third thing I wanted is I wanted a large screen. I wanted a seven inch screen, AKA double DIN. I wanted the double DIN. So that was also part of my requirements. Another thing I wanted was a knob for volume. Every now and then I like to be able to turn the radio down without looking. And if you have a button to press and I don't have steering wheel controls, you have to look down to find out where that button is. If I have a knob, I'm able to turn it down without looking at the radio. This was pretty important as well. Unfortunately, as I went to Best Buy and perused some of the radios, none of the radios have knobs. I didn't see any knobs to turn the volume up and down. I found a forum online, Renless for Porsche enthusiasts. Some folks in the forum recommended this radio. I thought I would give it a shot. All right, so this is the site that I used, and this is the price for this configuration, one gig, 32 gig, and they'll have different options, two gig, 32 gig, CarPlay, Wi-Fi. It gets very complicated. So uh, my particular radio is a Bose radio. So I'm going to need a special Bose adapter. Here it is. So this is a 32 gig uh, CarPlay Bose fiber. So this is one of my options. So I'm going to need that kit. That kit, if I buy it by itself, it's $100. At a minimum, I'm looking at 270 for a radio. So as I go through, oh, it gets very expensive. So this one is a uh, item 7862 and this is a 256 gig Bose fiber and I probably need to look at these just a little bit more. So let me summarize it for you. So these are the five models that he was recommending and you can say good, better, best kind of from left to right. But this is really what it boils down to option to the left 8141 was the most basic so it was 178 plus the box which is going to come to 264 that box is the fiber optic box that i needed for my car since i have a bose radio so 264 for that one 
327 for the one in the middle and 404 and 433 for those to the right so basically good better best i did not choose best i chose better the one in the middle which is 85 81 for 327 dollars that's what i purchased and just to kind of go over those stats so 8141 to the left is the most basic so going up one notch the 8581 is the eight core versus the four core it's 1.6 gigahertz as opposed to the 1.3 comparing it to the 8141 on the left uh, and if I look down it has a better equalizer has a 36 band EQ and it has a wireless CarPlay which was very important it comes with a GPS multi-language the 360 degree camera is optional I don't think I'm going to install more than just a rear backup camera it looks like it has the capabilities for a front for a front parking camera as well that is nice and uh, that's what I got so that's if I had to compare that to the current market uh, since I paid 327 including the Bose box and the street value of the Bose box is $100. I basically paid $227 for a very decent Android radio with knobs. Now fast forward to my box that uh, this is my radio box that I've been hoarding for a couple of months. It is a combination of the radio that I received on the website and a conversion kit from Metra that I also purchased because I needed to move one of the cubbies down below and uh, move my HVAC controls down below as well. So some of this stuff I probably won't use, but here I am just kind of unboxing everything. That's valuable. That's the cubby that I need right there. wire harness now one of the downsides of purchasing this particular radio is it came with zero instructions uh, every time I had a question I would go back to the seller online and ask the question and the seller would do his or her best to give me the information but it just wasn't enough like we are so spoiled and used to step-by-step -step instructions that when we get a box of goodies like this uh, it's a challenge and it was a challenge a lot of it is just connecting all of those wires to the back of the head unit so it is as simple as that but it got a little bit more complicated so that was one of my challenges not having all the instructions so uh, that's the end of this video uh, I basically wanted to unpack unbox and get this install ready uh, and show you the process of basically how I chose this radio and uh, hopefully it'll be inspirational or helpful to some other people. The most important question that I would like to answer at the end of this build is if I had to do it all over again, would I still purchase this radio? So stay tuned.